In this case, we're going to show you how to solve a system of linear inequalities. Again, since the each, each inequality has two variables, the solution will be found on an xy plane. There's your y-axis, there's your x-axis, so some region on this plane will include all the points that satisfies this, these two inequalities, in other words, the set of all x and y coordinates that will satisfy these inequalities. All right, how do you do that? We start out by taking each of these two inequalities and writing the equivalent equations. So in this case, we have y is equal to 2x minus 5. In this case, we have y is equal to minus x plus 4. Now notice that both of these equations have the form y equals mx plus b. And so we can graph those by first finding the intercept of each. So starting with the first equation here, the intercept y equals negative 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, right here. And the slope is a, a positive 2, which means you rise 2 and run 1. So go up 2, go over 1, go up 2, go over 1, go up 2, go over 1. And then you can combine all those points which represent this line, which represents the boundary for this inequality. Notice there's no equal sign there, so the actual line is not part of the solution. We draw a dashed line to indicate that. So the dashed line is the, uh, the boundary. The second inequality, the equivalent equation is y equals minus x plus 4. The intercept is a positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, right there. So we know that point lies on the boundary. And the slope is a negative 1, which means you drop 1 and run one, so down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one, and so forth. And when you connect all those dots, again, not a solid line because there's no equal sign there. The boundary does not include, it's not included in the uh, solution. It's not a bad idea to find where those two lines cross. So let's find that point. It looks like it's probably, um, the point 3, 1, but just to make sure, let's solve these two equations simultaneously. Um, we can do that by setting these two equal to each other. If y is equal to this and y is equal to this, then if you set those two equal to each other, we can say then from these two that 2x minus 5 is equal to minus x plus 4. Moving all the x's over to one side, we get 2x plus x, because the negative x becomes a plus x, equals a 4 plus 5, when the negative 5 goes across the equal sign. Combining like terms, we get 3x is equal to 9. Divide both sides by 3, we get x equals 3. So the first coordinate point, x equals 3. To find the y value of that point, we can then plug this value into any one of our two equations. So go ahead and let's plug it back into here, this equation. So we get y is equal to minus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 1. That means the y value at that point is equal to 1. So even though graphically it did look like the point 3 and 1, uh, this makes sure, that way we can make sure. All right, now we have a lot of regions. We have region 1, we have region 2, we have region 3, oop, 3, and we have region 4. Which of those four regions satisfies both inequalities at the same time? Well, what we do is we take one inequality at a time, find the line that's associated with that inequality. So the first one right here, let's just mark it. This is our first inequality. This is our second inequality. This line here was associated with the first inequality. This line here was associated with the second inequality. And so in each case, we're going to see which side of that line satisfies each of these inequalities. Starting with the first one, we're going to plug in a sample point. Okay, so 0, 0 is to the left of this line, which is the boundary of the solution set for this particular inequality. We'll plug in that value, so we'll take this equation right here, we plug in the value 0, 0, and we get 0 is greater than question mark, is that what we're trying to find out, than 2 times 0 minus 5. So 0 is that greater than question mark minus 5. And the answer is yes. That is true. So I picked a point on the correct side of this line. In other words, I picked a point that's, that is in the region that satisfies the inequality, and I'm going to go ahead and shade that. 
So everything to the left of line number one is part of the solution for the first inequality. We now are going to do the same to the second line, this line right here. We pick a point, again, 0, 0 is a very good point to pick. So we're going to plug that into our second equation, plug in the point 0, 0, or I should say inequality. So 0 is less than question mark minus 0 plus 4, or 0 is less than, of course, minus 0 is still 0, uh, 4 question mark, and the answer is yes, that's also true. So 0, 0 is also on the correct side of this second line. So everything to the left, or kind of down and to the left, of this line is part of the solution, so I'll go, I'll go ahead and shade that as well. Now you can see, and let me grab a different color, that only of the four regions, region number one is the solution to both inequality number one and inequality number two. So draw on the boundary, dashed line here, dashed line there, and everything on this side simultaneously satisfies the inequality number one and inequality number two. So for this system of inequalities, region one here is the solution, not including the boundary lines. Region two, three, and four do not satisfy both at the same time, so none of, that, none of that region or none of those regions satisfies all of the inequalities. Okay, and that's how you do those problems. Let me do one more, just to get a good feel for it. In this case, we're going to try three of these inequalities at the same time. 